Hi everybody, I think it was five years ago now that I made this video, which was an off-camera flash portrait of a real bride and groom at a wedding that I shot in the Lake District. That video did really well for me. In fact, it kick-started my whole channel. So today, I'm gonna to try and better that video because I have another fountain. I am at Standon Hall in Staffordshire. The light is low, there's a bit of rain in the air, and I think this could be the perfect conditions to try and better what I did five years ago. So I'm gonna build up this shot, as always, in stages. First of all, I want to light up the fountain, or more in, more in particular, light up the water that is coming from the fountain. So I should just say at this point, I'm on my Sony A92 with my Sony 50mm G Master lens. I'm gonna shoot this wide open at f1.2. So first of all, let's grab a speed light, some I prepared earlier. If you're gonna do a shot like this in the rain, please make sure you use a freezer bag or something to protect the speed light. They don't like the rain. We don't need the grid and the sphere. I'm gonna pop this over here. Now I should just say that eventually, I'm gonna be bringing out my friend Rebecca. She will be stood near this banana about here and I'm going to shoot through the water. Probably somewhere about here. So what I want to do is make sure the light, the speed light is not in the shot, but obviously is lighting the water that I'm shooting through. This photograph is not about the ambient light. The ambient light won't really affect this at all because it's quite dark. So settings wise, I'm at one two hundredth of a second because I don't want to use high speed sync because that will take away some of the flash power. I'm at 1.2 because I want to make this look really cool, this foreground bokeh. The water will look really good if we shoot at a very wide aperture. So that's why I'm on the 50mm 1.2. And my ISO is whatever it needs to be to kill the ambient. And that's ISO 100. So if I take a shot as it is, I get this, which is just basically a very underexposed photograph. That's good. What I'm now going to do is turn on this speed light. This is going to be speed light A. I'll put that about there. And flash power wise, I'm gonna put that on an eighth power. Okay, that's really cool already. I really like the look that we're getting here. Again, the water turns into a really cool foreground bokeh, which is what I love. What I'm gonna to do to make that a little bit different, I'm gonna add on a blue Magmod gel. It's very slippy here. We're shooting this video in December and it's lots of ice on the floor. So let's see what effect the gel has. I'm gonna focus on the banana skin. Really cool. I love this look. This is right up my street. So that's just the effect of speed light A. What I'm now gonna do is add on speed light B from the right hand side of the photograph. Again, another I prepared earlier. Another Godox V860 with a freezer bag. Just a bare speed light at the moment, no modifier on. I'm gonna turn A off, just B. I'm gonna put B's a bit closer. So I'm gonna turn that to a 16. And that is the effect that B gives us on its own. Now if I turn on A, both of them together, we get this, which I really, really like. So now I'm gonna put a color onto B. We'll go with purple. So purple goes onto here. It's always good when you're doing a photograph like this to do it in stages like I'm doing here. So you can see what the effect each speed light is having. The one change I think I'm gonna make is to move speed light A a little bit further round so that I'm not seeing it in the shots. It's just creeping in a little bit. So further round, a bit further back. Yeah, that's cool. In fact, I could even turn my ISO up to 200. That looks really good. As the foreground bokeh goes, I'm really pleased with that. So what I'm now gonna do is just move this banana skin. And before we bring out Rebecca, I'm gonna put two more speed lights in place because it is horrible conditions at the moment and Rebecca's just in a wedding dress. So what I don't want to do is bring her out too soon and just be shivering away. So I'm gonna put the other two speed lights on now. The first speed light is gonna be speed light C and that is going to backlight Rebecca. I'm trying to position this so that it's gonna be behind Rebecca from where I'm going to stand. I'm gonna stand about there Rebecca will be about here, and this should be behind, so I don't actually see it. And just before we go and get Rebecca, I will now add on speed light D. This is the speed light that will be lighting her. So it's not very often when I'm making videos that I have a four light speed light setup, but let's go for it. This one has a grid and a sphere on. That's my go-to on the fly when I'm working quick setup for, for portraits for off-camera flash. This is going to be speed light D. And this will be about here. 
Big thank you, by the way, to my partner, Helen, who has helped me with today's video. If you're not aware, Helen and I actually do a weekly podcast for Flashmasters, which is the worldwide community of photographers that we manage. So if you'd like to listen to that podcast, it's quite good. I think so. Do you think so? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> then, <laughs> then the link is on the screen. Before I go and get Rebecca, here's my setup. Speedlight A with a blue gel on. Speedlight B with a purple gel on. They're both light in the water. Speedlight C is behind with no modifier on yet. I may add a grid onto this one. And Speedlight D over here, which is going to light Rebecca as she stands where I am here. In theory, I think this should look really, really cool. So let's go and get Rebecca and fingers crossed we'll end up with something pretty special. Just to remind you, all the photographs that you see in my videos were edited using my Lightroom preset pack, which you can download from my website. The pack includes my presets, brushes, magic masks, and a 100 minute editing tutorial video in which I show you exactly how I edit my photographs. Honestly, it is a real drab day here in Staffordshire. But ironically, these are the conditions that are perfect for a shot like this. You don't want it to be bright light, it's, that's the worst thing. You want it to be really dark. If anything, I'd like it to be pitch black. But we're as good as when we can control all the natural light and kill all the ambient just with our camera settings now. We're actually pleased, Rebecca, to stand here facing this way, just looking back towards that light. So about where I'm stood there, facing this way, please. So first of all, I'm going to turn off A and B and just have C on, which is the backlight. Yes, that's cool, brilliant. And C is on 132 power. Let's turn on A, on B, and do the same shot again. Gorgeous, Rebecca. Oh, we've got one problem here. We're getting a huge blue color cast. That is because this speed light is hitting Rebecca. So I need to put a grid onto this one. This is why it's good to do this in stage as well, because you can critique yourself as you're going, and it's much easier this way to figure out what isn't working. There might also be a little bit of bounce back from the fountain itself. But once we kill that, we're good. Much better. Yeah, cool. All we're missing now is a front light on Rebecca. If anything, C might be too hot again. C I'm going to put down to 164. That's the speed light behind Rebecca. Let's now turn on D, which is the front light. I'm going to put that on 32 for now. Let's turn off all the others to see what D is doing on its own. Gorgeous. Probably a bit too strong. D's on 132, let's put that down to 164. Perfect, that's what D's doing on its own. Let's turn them all on now. A, B, C and D. Really cool. Gorgeous, Rebecca. I love this. Just looking towards that light there for me, please, Rebecca. Beautiful. Yeah, this is really, really cool. Okay, Rebecca, can I just ask you to try and waft? the veil with your right hand for me, please. Just bend in your arm as you do so, so it's a bit lower. Actually, I'll just let me move the veil around a little bit. Whee! This is quite slippy. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, perfect. Okay, so three, two, one. That's good. Just gonna turn C down. That's the one behind Rebecca to 128. Cause I might be losing the veil. And again, one, two, three. Really good. And now just putting that veil around you, if that's, if that's okay. Just how like you did before, slightly side up, facing this way slightly, and then just lowering the front shoulder. That's it. But just putting the veil over that front shoulder. That's it, and then just looking straight at me. Beautiful. Amazing, Rebecca. Gorgeous. Amazing. Stunning. What I'll just do while I've got you here, just gonna change my lens from the 50 mil to the 135. Because as I always say in my videos, once you've got all the setup right and it's looking like you want to, you might as well change your lens. Could it give you something very different? Gorgeous. Yeah, that's cool. Exactly as you are. So I've got a bit further back. Stunning, Rebecca. Really nice. See what happens when we're even closer? Rebecca's making this easy. Yeah, brilliant. And then I've got to go to the 85. Oh, and then at the end, I need to go very wide. Then that'll be the last shot we do. Yeah, good. Beautiful. 
This is a weird request, Rebecca. I ask you to do that, but try and hold your breath if you can. This is not Rebecca's fault, but because it's so cold, we see a little bit of a breath. Beautiful. Just looking this way, Rebecca, as we walk. Yeah, she nails these. Last one. Beautiful. And the very last shot before we finish, going to go to the 35, try and get much more of the fountain in. That may mean that we do have the lights in, but I want to go full length. I can always edit those out afterwards. Yeah, that's cool. Just gonna move this one back slightly. And because of that, I'm gonna turn it up. So that was A, I'm gonna go to a quarter power. And B as well, that's gonna go to an eight. Just looking slight towards that light again, please, Rebecca. Really nice. Beautiful. And then just wrapping that veil around you last time, if that's okay. Gorgeous. And just looking at me again. I'm just gonna very quickly pop on a red gel to A. Can please go and give Rebecca a follow because this is cold. And now just wetting the veil, both sides actually, if you can. Just looking towards the light, she's doing that. That's it, yeah, good. Really good. Thank you so much, Rebecca. Thank you to Mark, thank you to everybody at Standen. Thank you to Helen for filming. Here are my favorite photographs from this shoot. And again, it's been a bit of a special video for me because this is how my whole YouTube channel started, by shooting through a fountain. Here are the shots I took five years ago and here are today. Please let me know in the comments which you prefer. If it's the five-year-old ones, then I might as well give up. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Thank you so much again for watching, and I will see you next time. Thank you both very, very much.